Hey guys, welcome to another video for the legendary Poco F1. Today we are talking about Havoc OS 4.6 based on Android 11 for this wonderful device. It has gotten updated, a lot of things have been changed and updated. I have flashed this a few hours back and I've been using it and I kind of like the experience. So let's talk about the first impressions of this wonderful ROM which is highly customizable for the Poco Phone F1. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and support the channel. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so it does say, welcome to your new Pixel. This is Havoc OS, the latest version. I have gone ahead and flashed it, right? And as I mentioned, the Android version is Android 11. So first things first, let's go to settings, let's go to about and let's click on the Android version. You will see Havoc version 4.6, the June security patch, the kernel that we have here is silver core kernel. Now, something that I need to tell you about this kernel, I have tried this kernel in the past. I'm not by any means saying it is a bad kernel. It is a kernel which is designed to focus towards daily usability of any particular ROM so don't expect out and out performance from this particular kernel you can flash uh, Shiva's kernel and stuff like that so that's your system info the build that we have over here is the vanilla build with Nix stock G apps that is what I have flashed over here right it does come with the pixel launcher so if you actually go to the launcher settings over here if you go to about Right, you have the pixel launcher and the shady launcher. Right now I am using the shady launcher. So if we go over here and if we go to the home, default home app, pixel launcher. As you can see, so home settings, about pixel launcher. Standard across most of the custom ROMs these days for the Pocophone F1. Now, if you go to the recent menu, you do see that screenshot and select works absolutely fine. So if you, even if you click on screenshot, you have an option to share, edit and delete. So those advanced features are there. And if you go all the way to the left, you do have the clear all option, right? Now moving on, if you click on styles and wallpapers from here, earlier it was clash crashing, now it is not. You do have the June pixel drop updated wallpapers which are available. And moving on, you do have the new quick setting tiles or the added or updated quick setting tiles. You have a quick setting tiles for screenshot and a lot of other options as well. Now talking about screenshot, if you go ahead and enable, you do have an option of taking a three finger screenshot. And moving on, if you talk about display settings over here, right? Dark theme, night light, rotation, colors. So you do have the preview that has been added over here and it works as expected. Now moving on, there is something important over here, which of course is the screen recorder. So. First of all, you do have FPS info, which works as expected. If you go to screen recorder, you can record internal and external audio, show touches, show dot to stop recording, lower recording quality. So once we start the screen recording over here, let's see if we have any performance degradation or not. There you go. Yep, I see no stutters, no issues at all, even the app animation is working as expected and you can tap over here to stop the screen recording now moving on one small nifty feature that i found over here if you leave this over here after about 60 to 80 seconds it will automatically take you back to the previous screen which is a very very good thing if it gets pressed by mistake and stuff like that now it does have ir face unlock it does have the app lock which is built into security so if you go to security over here right you go to app locker you draw your pattern and you select a lock on the calculator application. You can hide the notifications as well. This is something I've not seen in some other ROM. So you can use your face unlock as well. You can use pattern, you can use face unlock 
and you can use the fingerprint as well so that is something pretty pretty neat you do have the sleep mode that is added and in developer options you do have alarm blocker wake lock blocker so you can go ahead and use those options and you also have the ability to block media apps from resuming for example from over here you can choose if you want any particular media app to resume the music or not now safety net does pass out of the box and if you go to the google play store over here and if you go to settings you will see that the device is certified so you will not have any issues at all when it comes to your banking application the portrait light feature works for human faces as expected once you have updated all the inbuilt applications your hey google will work but sometimes it's a hit or miss in this particular update or i don't know i've been using it just fine sometimes it did not work but most of the time it did so as i said you know the app opening animations are subtle smooth it does come with the silver core kernel and it doesn't have a lot of application at boot that is what i really really like about these aosp roms but you know we are coming towards the sort of the second half of this video and we haven't spoken about the main features over here and when i say that what i mean is if you go to settings and if you go to the configuration center now i have been saying this in a while that you know for a while that you can have all the customization in world but if you have not organized it in a very good way you would not enjoy it so you have stuff like status bar quick settings lock screen ambient display buttons and navigation gestures notifications battery saving screen media miscellaneous and you do have a full fledged gaming mode in here right we'll talk about that and then you have the about section in which you have all the details for these wonderful developers who bring these amazing roms to our devices especially the old ones like the poco phone f1 now let's quickly have a look at the customization options these are all the options that you can go ahead and use to customize you can select the battery style here and there then you have quick settings you can make a hell lot of changes to your quick settings and on lock screen you have lock screen customizations then you do have ambient display you can have always on display i would not recommend that because this is a lcd panel and you will lose a lot of battery right then you have buttons and navigations as always gestures we just went into gestures at the start of the video right but over here as i said if you go and swipe to screenshot there you go three finger swipe to screenshot is working as expected right there you go share edit delete so you have all those options i've not seen the partial screenshot option working you do have edge lighting in the options of customization over here so that is something pretty pretty neat then you have notifications battery saving and screen you can select full screen apps and stuff in media you do have adaptive playback and all the other options and in miscellaneous you do have your gaming mode wherein you can do a lot of customization to help you game better so all in all havoc os 4.6 for the poco phone f1 does bring a lot of changes under the hood and over and above in the ui as well i've been using it for a couple of hours my experience has been pretty pretty great let me know in the comment section what do you think about these initial impressions until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye